Hey guys, this is Soul and welcome to Let's Play Darksiders 2. will condemn war, strip him of power, let him rot in oblivion, to hide the truth. My secrets cannot prove his innocence, horsemen. No, but they can help me to erase the crime. Bring mankind back from extinction. Madness. If it's madness, then who better to show me the way? Should a way exist, you will find it here. The tree of life. Let me pass. Not yet. That which you gave me, you will take it back. In exchange for its secrets, you agreed to keep the amulet. No. The voices, they curse and threaten without end. They cry to return. You must destroy it. I cannot. You annihilated their flesh. Why do you guard their souls? Open the portal. You will not pass while I live. So be it. Here your brethren are trapped in eternal torment. Do you wish to join them? And what of war? Would you kill your brother to save your precious balance? He is innocent. Are you so certain? And in walks war. What? Oh no. It's just a shadow. Oh, from the last time I changed dodge from alt to circle because I have side buttons on my mouse that are mapped to that. So basically, my extra buttons on my mouse are now my dodge, which makes this so much easier, as I say, and I get hit. I really like this fight um, because it kind of reminds you of Darksiders 1 in the fact that just different playstyles. So war, I found, was very, like... I'm gonna hit you hard uh, and death so far seems like I'm gonna dance around you and then hit, you know a thousand cuts to take you out and it's just interesting to see this fight between the two of them and then show the different playstyles. and I wait oh that's okay the axe symbol is my attack I guess I was supposed to keep hitting attack um, shift lock on so I don't know it just I think it's neat that they actually uh, show this this fight or do this fight here at the beginning to kind of remind you that you know this is some different playstyles. War was like I'm gonna hit you hard. Death is not that way, and you got to play differently. It's not the same game. I, I don't know. I just thought it was an interesting way of you know just basically showing you the old character that you played in the first game right off the bat. Nice. I I don't know. I like it. I really do. Also, something I realized recently is. Uh, just even the color schemes of these games. I don't, I don't think I'm going to get to finish this conversation before I kill this guy. This guy. By this guy, I mean war. Hammer. Come on, just one more. There we go. But if you look at Darksiders 1, I realized that after that, pretty much most of the color scheme was based around red, which is primarily war's color scheme. It, it was all very dusty red whereas so far most of the color scheme that we've seen is all ice and blue 
and pale greens, which is kind of death's color scheme if you kind of, you know, know a bit of the history, that's kind of it. Or the mythology, I guess. Okay. The uncountable worlds of our universe swirl in an endless abyss. Many worlds ravaged by time or conflict are swallowed by the abyss, returned to the nothingness from which they were formed. But others linger for eternity on the brink of annihilation, that creation might be balanced with destruction. And in the final moment of battle, death was banished to one such world in the autumn of its life, yet not far from the edge of darkness. Had death been sent to his doom, that answer would be found in the horseman's future and in his past. Be still, horseman. You are wounded. Don't touch me. Your arrival here is a bad omen. Yes. Troubles me greatly. Old one, there's more trouble ahead if you don't start making sense. Where is the tree of life? Life? <laughs> this world is dying, lad. Choking on chaos and corruption. We can do little to stop it. Soon, the great tree, too, shall perish, and with it, the last of my people. Is that not what brought you here, Pale Rider? I seek the tree. Your chaos and corruption don't concern me. Or do they? <laughs> it seems they do concern you. Another one. Ooh. Get the heck out of there. Still oh S E symbol for smash. They just keep coming. Oh, <laughs> push him back. I was just jumping into him. Okay. I'm getting messed up here. Use a health pot. That's interesting. Health pots heal slowly instead of being automatic. So if you wait too long to use one, you could possibly still die if they do too much damage. You fight well, but this corruption can't be beaten with a blade. Seek out the Forge Sister. Ask her about the fire of the mountain. Help her, and she will help you reach the tree. As for me. I must return to my work. Oh wow, there's actually dialogue choices in this one. Um, who and are who you? Who are you to command a rider? I am a maker, older than even the Chard Council. These hands have laid the foundations for many worlds, but that was long ago, and now they but hardly know the touch of stone. Are you not curious as to why I seek the tree? I would not presume to question one of the four, but yes, tell me. I must restore humanity to redeem war. Heaven and hell battle upon the shattered earth. All creation trembles, and at the center of it all stands your brother. He is innocent. I never said he wasn't. 
The tree holds power over life and death. If you would resurrect humanity, then you are headed in the right direction. Be warned. A dark presence dwells now within the tree, and the path is barred by corruption. Huh. Okay. So... Oh. Level up. A uh, skill point awarded. You obtained a skill point by leveling up. Uh, you have leveled. Every level grants a skill point which is used to purchase new abilities. Press O to enter the character menu and spend a point. Okay. So what do we got? We got teleporting slash. Death teleports across the battlefield and delivers a violent scythe attack that deals damage and restores death's health. Or exhume death summons bloodthirsty ghouls from the grave to fight alongside him. Oh, choices. Uh, this one upgrades teleport slash. It looks like it's mostly about making teleport slash better. Huh. And this one here is just about increasing the damage of the summon ghouls. So I have two trees. I can either go down a tree for doing more damage myself or the ability to summon dudes to help me. I don't trust the AI yet, so we're going to get Teleport Slash. Because I know I have control over that, whereas the, the undead dudes, I don't know how they're going to operate. So let's start there. Uh, except... Q? And then I can press Tab to open a radial win menu. Or I can click Teleport Slash. Uh, using skills drain wrath and can be destroyed by striking enemies or using a wrath potion. Okay, so I'm gonna have to map buttons for that too, I suppose. Because I think there's shortcuts. Let's see, three, four, five, oh, six. Six is that one. Okay. I might want to remap that around, but oh, right. So I think this is probably a good place to stop. Farewell to you. Uh, for now, this is Tolhi signing out. Later, guys.